Okay, this is a story that broke last week. Um, it's about Gmail and appears to have auto-enabled AI training on a lot of people's settings. Um, we're going to run through the issue and um, tell you what you can do about it. So what's happened? Um, have you checked your Gmail settings recently? Because this week, millions of users discovered that Google has automatically opted them in to a feature that may allow their emails and attachments to train their AI systems. So yes, your private messages, your work emails, even attachments, things that you attach to emails could be included in this. Uh, today I'll explain exactly what's happening, um, uh, whether Google admits it, and the two hidden settings you need to switch off right now if you don't want this to happen. So, what's happened? Well, they've turned on something called Smart Features. It's been turned on by default in different regions. It seems to have happened in the US. I'm not convinced it's happened all in Europe. Lots of people say it hasn't been auto-enabled there, but certainly need to check anyway. Um, Gmail's their their AI powered features and apparently millions of users were automatically enabled so these can use emails and attachments and it allows them to potentially access all of your email content uh, for processing so they're running out of data for their training their AI models and uh, your emails and attachments are obviously pretty juicy stuff really um, cybersecurity experts have been warning users to check their settings immediately here's one of the um, articles that broke this news this is in um, one of the apple insider news and they were just saying google wants to use your emails to train its ai so it's uh, pretty heavy stuff really so why people are worried well AI models need more human data. Um, they're running out of training data and email archives are a gold mine of human knowledge and interaction. Um, the concern from our side is simple. Your inbox contains often the most sensitive information you have online. You know, you'll have things like family and work conversations, financial documents, work files, medical info. There's all sorts really attached to these emails and um, in the content as well. Uh, and instead of asking users to participate, it appears to Gmail just appears to have turned on these data hungry features automatically. So what did Google say? Well, Google is kind of denying. They say the reports are misleading, which is not really a denial. They say they do not train Gemini, which is uh, Google's uh, AI beast on Gmail content. They say these smart features have been existing for years. Uh, this was an interview with um, the Huffington Post and where they say it's um, misleading. Uh, and they didn't answer anything about why the users were automatically opted in. This did happen. Lots and lots of people have reported that these settings have been turned on. I'll show you them in a, in a second. Uh, and at the moment, um, Google is facing a proposed class action lawsuit uh, about something similar, alleging it allowed Gemini to access users' entire email history. So they got form for this. Um, so what do these smart features use your data for? Well, um, they're four things like smart compose and autocomplete, you know, the predictive text. They do automatic inbox sorting, grammar correction summaries, and um, personalized suggestion across Google services. Uh, and in exchange for all these features, Google uses your email content to approve these features. Even simple things like um, uh, spell checking uh, are enabled with this setting. So this is where the privacy concern um, begins, really. So turn off smart features. How can you do it? Right, I think it's probably easy to just show you. Here's my um, right. the settings tab in Gmail. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down and find on here where it says Smart Features. Now, this could be turned on automatically. Uh, now, if it is, this makes this story even more true. Um, it, lots of reports, people say it has been turned on and it was previously turned off. Uh, a lot of us probably have never checked this before. I'm not a great uh, Gmail user. Uh, so if you turn, if it's on, you want to turn it off if you don't want to be included in this big AI data mining uh, session. So you've got to turn that one off. Smart features. 
Uh, you will lose features. I will show you what you lose um, in a second. But the, it do, does take quite a lot off Gmail. So, you know, uh, if you prepare to use these fe features, um, I would guess you've got to decide for yourself, really. The second setting really is manage workspace smart feature settings. It's hidden below this. So you have to get, you have to turn that one off. And you have to go into manage workspace and you have to turn these off as well smart features in google workspace or smart features in other google products see it mine had switched off here you want to turn them off if you don't want to be included in these um settings okay so uh so basically go to open gmail go to settings general find the smart features thing and then untick them to disable them if they have been enabled and then go to the Google Workspace Smart Features and turn those off too. Uh, it's That one's hidden, as I've just showed you. Uh, so switch everything off if you're concerned about privacy, but you will lose some features. If you turn it off on mobile, I haven't got it on my mobile, but apparently it's Gmail settings and data privacy, and then disable the smart features from there and disable workspace features. I think it's quite easy to find on a mobile. So opting out does mean you'll lose some useful functions, um, spelling help, inbox categories, autocomplete, even AI generated summaries from Gemini. It doesn't seem that you can have these AI features and not be included in their um, data harvest. I guess that's what you're swapping for. Really, you're paying for a feature with your data. So you need to decide whether privacy or convenience matters more to you. Uh, for people handling sensitive e email, I would say you should turn this off, really. So check your mail, Gmail settings today. Um, automatic opt-ins are becoming common as companies race to train these bigger AI models. They need our data. Uh, but your email inbox does contain some of the most private data you have. So think carefully before leaving it enabled so uh, take two minutes to check your Gmail settings and uh, share this video. Anybody who uses Gmail, especially friends, family and colleagues, a lot of people won't know about this. Um, so stay safe, stay private, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a great day, everybody.